so we have what you like to call a rival. Hello and good morning. Most important part of the day, food time, so we're active. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, bro, get my hot chocolate, yeah? <laughs> Sick guy. So, active at McDonald's, and then we're heading to, you know, we'll see when we get there. So, we have what you like to call arrived at HQ. Um, traffic was a madness. We've sat in traffic for ages, man. Cars seem to be driving so stupid today. But we are at this place. Let's go inside, see what's happening. Nothing but vehicles on top of vehicles of vehicles these guys are always busy yeah, time for us to go and do some artisan magic looks like we better go this way around oh, look at this but yeah we are here so let me show you the beauty that we are working on so today we are working on this animal, the urban defender, uh, as you can see here. So this has had the urban conversion. Oh, look, it absolutely stunning. It's even got the winch on the front. Got the DRL lights. Obviously you've got the light bar at the top with the roof rack, the all-terrain wheels, spare tire on the back with reverse camera, lighting on the back. The back of the truck has had the pan glass conversion, or should I say the rear glass conversion. Obviously we've got cage in the back to stop anything from falling around this is a full conversion with the urban kit uh, the interior hasn't been completed yet but it will be so let me just take you around to the inside of the car as you can see it's got the aftermarket steering wheel full leather on the dashboards cruelty leather armrest you know absolute animal beautiful beast beautiful beautiful beast So, you can actually get this car yourself from Urban Automotive. Um, unfortunately, they don't stop these cars anymore. So if you do want to get a conversion, you need to find it. So you can bring it to Urban and then Urban will do the kit for you. No problem at all. But from my perspective, standing here in front of it, this is an absolute beauty. Definitely something that I would invest my money into. So yeah, that's enough for the car for now. Time for us to get the book it set up and start cleaning this and give it the artisan fresh so catch you in two seconds so the first point of call on this vehicle is we're going to give it a thorough rinse down to take off all the excess dirt that may be on it fairly clean to start with
as you saw from that clip there, fall out remove on the wheels and all around the body. So we're letting fall out as well, that should start taking off the eye contamination. <laughs> so this is Take Me Out In Your Defender, Series 1. <laughs> so these beasts, look at them, manual, four-wheel drive. Uh, the reason why we're driving the car is because we need to clean the brake discs. So when we put the fallout remover and cleaner on the wheels, it will leave the brake discs a bit yellow with the iron contamination. So if we've got the space and with the owner's permission, we'll give the car a quick drive just to dab the brakes, get rid of that contamination. But this beast, actually beautiful to drive. Manual, look at the dash. Just give it a hard brake. Sorted. So, back inside, the car has now been dried decontaminated and all the other finer pieces, priorities. Ah, cup of tea. Let's have a look at what the car is looking like now. So, H just giving it a quick mask up on the areas where we may get some polish residue. Um, I gave the interior a quick vacuum. But as you can see, still got the seat covers on. Ready for them to do their final work. Obviously, we still need to get the screen fitted to the inside of the vehicle. But our job is mainly to enhance the paint. So I'm going to get the lights on this, see what the paint looks like, and then we will start enhancing and protecting. But yeah, beautiful defender. Uh, let me go back to drinking my tea anyway, because that's the important part. So, on first inspection, as you can see there, the paint has a few swirls in it. Uh, nothing too major. From experience, the paint on these cars aren't too bad to correct, so we are going to enhance the paint on this beautiful I think that's what we're going to do across the rest of the vehicle and then obviously we're getting it for work so watch this space. So the current update is the left hand side of the vehicle 
has now been complete. So this has been machine polished and enhanced. Uh, we just need to give it a panel wipe and then put some protection on it. As you can see, the paint is now coming up. Massive. The oils on the panel still, as you can see in the light, but gravity wise, looking good. So, the Defender is now complete after its enhancement detail and wax application. Just going to give you a quick walk around so you can see what the car looks like. Until we come back in two weeks' time, so until then, whatever you do, do it well.